Let's talk about Figma Buzz, the new tool which Figma has launched in their Figma Config 2025. And if you have not seen all the tools and features that Figma has newly released, do check out this video. I've explained all the features in 10 minutes so that you don't have to watch the whole config, right? So let's jump onto my screen and see what this Figma Buzz is all about, right? What is this Buzz all about? So I'm just going to start a new file and here you have the option to start a new Buzz file. So if I click on that, you can see that it shows you all these different templates so basically this is a competitor to canva right so you have canva and many other tools like that where you have all these templates which makes it very easy for a non-designer as well to come in and just change the text right so you have the marketing team and people who are not much familiar with design but they want to roll out a multiple ads or social media or print materials events uh, and a lot more right so here you have all those templates as you can see on the screen and uh, these are of different preset sizes that you can see you can do an instagram post a Facebook post and so on and then you have this explore section I think it's going to show all the new templates that have come up and uh, you can see that there are a lot of templates and on the left you can see different categories right so if you're looking for something into post on social media then you have the social and here you can see a lot of these social media posts then you have ads then you have print so in print I'm assuming there would be some posters banners and stuff like that so that is what you see right here all right and then moving on to business here you have something related to business and I think there'll be more categories coming up so let's watch out for it right so so then you have sales and promotions, events. So if you want to uh, promote some event, you can come here and find a good template. So you have these uh, agenda as well, right? So all these can be found on the events and then going to celebrations. You have some celebrations. I think there are some invites and things like that, right? So that is all about what we have on the template side. So let's just open one and try it out, right? So I'm just going to search something like hiring and uh, let's uh, because I just want to put out some hiring roles that I have for my company and uh, this would quite help me, right? So so here I have something and all right, this looks good on uh, Instagram square post. So I'll just add it to my page here. So here you have the template of Instagram and it's a one by one uh, aspect ratio, right? So here you have the design and uh, as you can see, there is no complicated design tools that you can see here. It's very simple, right? Or all, all you want to give the access is to change the text here and then you can change the colors and stuff like that, right? And you can also add some images. There are some AI tools which help you rewrite and also translate translate text and stuff. So those are the things that you can see. But if you're looking for, uh, you know, advanced editing tools, then you always have this option to switch from design mode uh, back into uh, the normal mode, right? So if you enter the design mode, you have more controls, all the advanced settings that you already have in Figma, right? So let me just switch back. Let's stay in this one. I can change the color as well. So these are the colors you can access and change it. You have uh, other colors as well. And all these are going to be picked from your uh, branding guide, right? So if you have a branding template you can create these templates and give it to your uh, marketing team or your content team and they can make use of these uh, templates and just change the text and quickly roll out uh, the things instead of depending on the design team for everything right so this is going to be really helpful so let's look at the options that we have on the left and see what they are right so here you have the multiple pages you can add new pages here uh, if i click on this it'll just add a new page and then you can add your next post as well right and then you have assets you can add an asset from here which is basically the template section here so you can search for some assets if you already have a design system or a UI kit in place if they want to add some elements that you already are providing as part of the branding they can just search for it here and add it right so this is from Figma and then you can have your own uh, design kit right here so I don't have anything at the moment but I can create my own workspace template and uh, the team can use it from here right so let's look at the other things then you have text so these are the different types of text that you can add uh, again it can be from your branding or these are the combinations or templates which Figma gives all you want to do is just drag it and drop it here right so that's how it works and then you have images uh, you can use AI to generate a new image uh, just give it a prompt and it will generate the image for you and it has got open AI's GPT image model so that's gonna be really good or you can upload your own images that's also great and then if you want to add some shapes these are some preset shapes that uh, Figma Buzz provides uh, these are limited but I'm sure they'll be adding more shapes to this 
And then you have this plus option, which is for stickers and stuff. So at the moment, they have a huge uh, list of stickers. Again, you can just go to it and drag and drop things onto your design, right? So that is how it works. And then uh, moving on uh, to the next option, which is the text option, right? To add text to this. So if someone is not uh, familiar with this tool or uh, they find this advanced or they don't want to mess up anything here, like you can move things here, right? So if they don't want to mess up uh, the template here, they can just come here and start typing right so hi i'm now hiring um, everyone so you can see right how the text here has changed uh without me editing anything on the canvas right so that's how it works i can also upload the logo for this that is here the next option is really good uh this is going to be really helpful when you want to do some bulk posting right so all you got to do is just come to this and here you have the option to upload a excel or a csv file so let's say i have multiple roles that i want to roll out for uh instagram right so i want to hire a lot of uh, uh, people so uh, that is what my manager or someone has uh, given me the task to do it right so uh, simply what I can do is just come here click on upload and I basically have the list of roles and all the data that has to go into it so what I'll do is I'll just uh, select this upload and I have a CSV file that I've already created there are 20 roles to be rolled out and you can see that all the columns are be listed here what is there in the CSV file now all I got to do is just select the one the heading right so this one will go to the heading section and just linking these two texts so that uh, buzz knows that this is what has to be linked and the next one uh, this the role is going to be attached to the body text one here and the location will be attached to the location here right so now everything is linked all you got to do is just say create 20 assets it already knows that there are 20 rows in the csv file so once i click on create 20 assets boom there you go all the 20 posts are generated. You can see that all the 20 posts here are generated with different text, right? So these were the roles that I have mentioned in the CSV file. So you can see how uh, well it has come out. And once this is all done, I can just simply click on export and export all these 20 assets all at once. So you can export it in different formats here, PDF, JPG, and things like that. Here you have the preview. And all I got to do is just export it and give it to the social media team and they will post it for me, right? So all this has been made so simple and that is all what buzz is all about so definitely let me know what you think about this tool and which tool from figma to cover next and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one